Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Good morning, Prabhu Vijay. Good to be back in Fiji. Both Panda, eh? Your weather is almost like the Australian weather. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. But we thank God that the hearts of God's people is nice and warm. Amen. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wherever <coughs> town, city, municipality, village, coro, you may come from this morning to come and be in the house of God. We welcome you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And then doing all in my kingdom, and then my soccer out and I call all the bongo. And the start kingdom back it all over the place. I have a man, I have a coco, I have a ganga. I want to turn up the chief superstar. Amen. Clap up into the Lord, please. Hallelujah. If it wasn't for God, you wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. None of us would be here. Amen. Because of Jesus, we are here today. Some of us. Uh, the way we lived our lives, we should have been dead a long time ago. Amen. Amen. Eh? But through God's grace, we are still here. Amen. Hallelujah. To hear the word of God one more time, another time. Amen. If Jesus doesn't come back tonight or this afternoon. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you ready for the word? Yes. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, as we're about to hear your word what you want to say into our lives, into our hearts this morning. Father God, we sanctify this time in the name of Jesus. We pray by the power of your Holy Spirit. The same anointing that is on me to preach it is the same anointing that is on your people to hear it, receive it, understand it, comprehend it, and able to apply it in their own lives and in their situations. We thank you for this, Father God. We come this time with the blood of Jesus. We cover your word with the blood of Jesus. We thank you for it. Illuminate and enlighten our eyes of understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. I have two scriptures for us this morning. Can you turn to Matthew chapter 11? Matthew chapter 11. Matthew Matthew 11, 27. Matthew 11, 27. Praise the Lord. Big Binakapakalemu to the young people who went for an outreach yesterday afternoon. Amen. Hallelujah. It's our prayer that the Lord will bless the young people of this church and of this community. Amen. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 11 verse 27. Are you there? Yes. yes. All things have been delivered to me by my Father. And no one knows the Son except the Father. No one, uh, nor does anyone know the Father except the Son. And the one to whom the Son wills to reveal Him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Second scripture, Matthew chapter 7, same book, just a couple of chapters back. Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23. Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23. It reads like this, Not everyone... Who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. What else? Depart from me, you 
who practice lawlessness. Amen. Amen. My endeavor is to conduct a teaching series on Sunday, on Sunday, whether it's Sunday morning or whatever time you have the worship on, um, or the service on, is that I want you to, to get this revelation that you've been chosen by God to know God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. How do you say that in Hindi? That God chose you to know God. Anybody here got better Hindi than Reuben? I'm looking at Reuben and Reuben is uh, pointing on the other side. But you'll work it out, eh? You'll work it out in Hindi, huh? God chose you so that you can know God. Amen? You didn't come to know God all by yourself or by your own strength. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now let's go to our second scripture here. Yeah. You see, let me introduce this thing like this. There's a big difference about knowing God and knowing about God. Eh? There's a big difference. Both barga barga difference. Huh? Eh? Knowing God and knowing about God. And do not tell me doing doing my tabera. Oh yeah. Eh? No no anda mai kila kalo sena. Eh? No no kila kalo ba kena no be kila ba kena kalo. Romo romo do you just have a little bit? No mo kila kalo. What can I do? Make it like what can I do? Praise the Lord. Many people have a knowledge about church, about Christianity, and the Bible. But you see, intellectual knowledge is not the same as vital faith. Huh? Knowing about God is not the same as having a personal relationship with God. Amen. Amen. This is clear from everyday relationships. Reading books on marriage is not the same thing as spending time with one's spouse. Is that right, Sindhu? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Eh? Amen. What happens if, I'm, I'm just using Ruben and Sindhu here. What happens with, between these two if Ruben spends most of the time at work or in church and never spend personal time with sin. What do you reckon is gonna happen? Next time you come home, brother, you're close, be on the brother. <laughs> eh? You married to me or you married the church? Huh? Knowing someone's phone number is a far cry from enjoying friendship with that person. Amen. Knowing eh? Who one's customers are is not the same as dealing with specific customers. Praise the Lord. In the same way, knowing God involves far more than knowing about Him. Information alone does not produce tangible faith. Amen? To be sure, right thinking is involved in faith, but faith is more than mere knowledge. Satoru Ratsu and Akenan doing doing. Eh? Praise the Lord. You see, we are no better than the demons if we only have an intellect knowledge of God. A head knowledge, eh? Some people call it head knowledge. If we only have intellect, intellectual knowledge of God, you're no different than the. What's the demon in Hindi? Timoni, demon, Hana, Satan. Eh? You're no different to a demon. Praise the Lord. Eh? James chapter 2, verse 19. It says it like this. I like it in the new translation, uh, in the new living translation. It says like this: You say you have faith, for you believe that there is one God good for you. 
Even the demons believe this and they tremble in terror. Eh? Wa ila madaga la tia borro. Eh? Ni za buti na chisu era sota ni nini. Praise the Lord. When was the last time you got shaken up when the name of Jesus was mentioned? Amen. Praise the Lord. In our text, we see that these great preachers, eh, in, in Matthew chapter 7, we see that these great preachers, for all intents and purposes, their ministry was very powerful. Eh? Praise the Lord. Well, in their preaching, they, eh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit was flowing. Eh? They were prophesying in tongues. Amen. The sick was being healed. And the demons were being cast off. Eh? In other words, it was a preaching, healing, and deliverance ministry. Eh? Now, if that was happening in Fiji, we'd say, Whoa! Man, those fellas got the power. Eh? Well, it was all happening. Eh? It was all happening for them. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hear this, please. Never chase after signs, wonders, and miracles or use that as an indication of the presence of God. Listen to me. I know. Because I look at Ruben. He's looking at me. Look at me, Ruben. Look at me. Eh? Look at this. Listen very carefully. Never use signs and wonders or never pursue or chase after it. Eh? And, and never entertain this thought. That wherever signs and wonders is happening, the presence of God is there. Why is that? Praise the Lord, why is that? You notice in these last days, I'll give you the scriptures, you can research it at home. In these last days, Satan will start performing signs and wonders. He's the scripture. I'll give you the scripture so you can go research it for yourself. Uh, it's in Mark 13:22. Write it down, Mark 13, 22. Revelation 13, 14. Mark 13, 22. Revelation 13, 14. Revelation 16, 14. And Revelation 19, 20. Can I say it again? You want me to say it again? Mark chapter 13, verse 22. Revelation 13, verse 14. And Revelation 16, verse 14. Revelation 16, 14. The last one, Revelation 19, verse 20. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Eh? In these last days, the devil will start doing miracles, and the Bible says, to deceive the elect. Eh? Because there are Christians, or so-called Christians, they just want to go after the gift. Eh? They just want to see the miracle. They just want to live for the miracle, live for the breakthrough, live for eh? signs and wonders. But they fail, eh? but they fail to remember eh? that you need this word to be deeply rooted in your life so that your life can be rooted in the Word of God, not with the signs, wonders, and miracles. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Eh? Praise the Lord. Uh, let me establish a few things here. Can I ask a question? Can God lie? 
Yeshua. Oh, good, good. Man, Pastor, you're doing a good job with his children. <laughs> eh? he, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 18 says uh, that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie. Eh? Let's establish this truth that, that God cannot lie. Huh? Okay? So in Hebrews 6, 18, eh, it is impossible for God to lie. <coughs> Titus chapter 1, verse 2, it says that God cannot lie. Titus chapter 1, verse 2. Eh? Numbers 23, verse 19, it says that God is not man that he should lie. So God is not man that he should lie. Praise the Lord. Amen. Romans chapter 3, verse 4 says that let God be true and every man a what? A liar. So you and I can lie, but God, Parameshwar, cannot lie. Praise the Lord. Huh? So we, we've established this truth that it is impossible for God to lie. God cannot lie. Say it on the last one. Okay. Praise the Lord. No Gutaro we can the God. This is the question to all of us. Then why did Jesus tell these talatalas, these pastors, these great ministers, in verse 23 of Matthew chapter 7, I never knew you. He told them he didn't know them. Let me let me let me let me say something here just to add on to the question. Can somebody who's leading the praise here, singing the praise here, can somebody preaching the gospel, can somebody working for God, doing the godly things, doing well, work in the church and doing all the good things, can somebody be doing all that, be involved in ministry, can somebody be doing all that and still God does not know them? Yes. Is that possible? Yes. I think you guys have heard this preaching before. You see? Praise the Lord. Sister Esther is smiling. You're catching on very fast, my sister. Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. Problem number one for this Tartars. Eh, write this down. Problem number one. They depended, they depended on what they did for salvation instead on what God did. Praise the Lord. Amen. These Tartars, they depend on what they did for God to save them instead of depending and trusting on what God did for us to get saved. Praise the Lord. Amen. Galatians chapter 2 verse 16 says, Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by faith in Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Christ Jesus, that we might be justified by faith in Christ, and not by the works of the law. For, the works, for by the works of the law, no flesh can be justified. Nobody can be justified. Nobody can be saved. Nobody can enter into the kingdom of God by what they do for God. Never mind you, pastor, or what? Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? And the city of the Lord is the one who 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 is the of the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. Eh? Bend and bow our hearts at the foot of the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent. Ask for forgiveness 
so that God can wash us and cleanse us by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. That's what we did. Amen? We remember that, right? Praise the Lord. Amen. Problem number two. They had intellectual or had knowledge not realizing they needed to have a personal relationship with God. Amen? These great pastors, these great tantalas, they only had a head knowledge eh, of Parmeshwar, not realizing they needed to have a personal relationship eh, with Almighty God through Jesus Christ. Amen? Praise the Lord. That's all right. It's not going to be a long service. Yeah? Your curry, goat, and whatever you got at home will still be warm when you get back there. Amen. Romans chapter 9 verse 32 says, Why? Because they did not seek it by faith, but as it were, by the works of the Lord. For they stumbled at that stumbling stone. Eh? They couldn't humble themselves. Eh? To ask Parmeshwar for forgiveness and for their sins to be cleansed. Amen. Amen. Understand this. No, no work, no matter how big the work you do for God or who you do for the church, no amount of work that we do can produce righteous blood to wash away our sins. It'll take you going to God, repent of your sins and ask God for forgiveness. No amount of work we do in the church or do for God can produce righteous blood. Many people fail to understand this. Eh? Praise the Lord. I hope you're getting something out of this. Eh? Problem number three. What do you think the problem is for number three? Eh? Problem number three is this. They saw what the name can do. Because they said it themselves. Eh? They said, we prayed in your name. Eh? We prophesied in your name. We cast out demons in your name. We heal the sick in your name. There's only one problem. Eh? There's only one problem. They didn't realize that behind that name, there is a person. That name belongs to someone. This name is not just a magic word that you can say, that anybody can say. Amen? That name belongs to a person. The problem with them, they saw what the name can do, not realizing, eh? not realizing, they didn't have any relationship to whom the name belongs to. Amen? 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 Amen. 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 Eh? They didn't have any relationship at all with Jesus, the person. Huh? No relationship whatsoever with Jesus, the person. They only saw what his name can do and, the, and thought that that was sufficient. Not realizing they have to receive, accept, ask forgiveness from the one to whom they saw the manifestation and the power in the name. Amen. Listen to me, my brothers and sisters. You too can be like that. Eh? We can pray for you and you get healed in the name of Jesus. We can pray for you and demons will leave you. Praise the Lord. But unless you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, receive Him as your personal Savior and Lord, 
you will only see what the name can do and not have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. You too will be like this, Tartarus. And when it, when it is time eh, for you to go to, to be with the Lord, and then you think you come Sunday here, Sunday, Sunday here, come Sunday, you think that that was, that was quite enough. No, it isn't. Uh, does anybody remember about the ten coins? The story about the ten coins, the parable? Ten coins, ten, ten silver coins, and one, and one got lost? Praise the Lord. Anybody remember that parable, that story? You see, that story talks about the people in the church. And this is the type of the church. Many people come to the church, go back. Come to the church, go back. Come to the church, go back. Eh? What they don't know is that the greatest loss of all are the people in the church and they're still lost. Eh? You're in church, but you're still lost. You still lost. Praise the Lord. This is the greatest lost. You come in Sunday, go out, come in, go out, come in, go out. Never entered into your heart to give Jesus your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Understand this. For those of us who are in ministry and those of you in the action song, praise and worship, whatever else that you do in the church. Hear this. None of us, no one will be able to boast in heaven that they achieved salvation or eternal life by their own self or their own doing. You won't be able to boast, eh? Amen. You won't be able to boast. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 29 says, so that no one might boast in the presence of God. <coughs> in Fiji, it goes like this. The Kenabogami Chimango, me kakua in donatamata, and get in the via in a Nobody will, eh, nobody will stand up uh, in, in the presence of God and says, I got here, I received eternal salvation because I was the pastor of the church. You won't be able to do that. Every one of us will have this testimony. The reason why I'm here in heaven is because my life has been washed of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of us. Never mind you pastor, or never mind you the dog greeter there. Every one of us, we made it into heaven because Jesus Christ cleansed us and washed us through his blood. Amen? Please hear this, I'm coming to an end now. Salvation is a free gift of God. It's not a reward for something that we did. Amen? It's not a payment for something good that we did. Salvation is a free gift of God. Eh? Praise the Lord. Eh? Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9. The Bible says, For by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the Samaitiko no 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 vale. 
sa pagkayang tagi kada tigo na kulong kapo nindo tamatang gading gabiya lako ba kaya lo loki ni lako ba kaya lo malu malu maya lo malu pero kasi na kulo iko pa tayo sa sa tigura Jesus said apart from me you can do nothing Amen bless the Lord let's bow our heads and pray Heavenly Father God we thank you for your word we thank you for this time we thank you for your people Father God I pray today that you visit every life, visit every family, visit every marriage. Lord God, visit every person here. Touch their hearts, stir their faith, transform and change our lives into the image of the Lord Jesus Christ by the power of your Holy Spirit. I pray, Father God, that a mark that cannot be erased has been made in our hearts today, Father God, by the Holy Spirit. We pray, we give you praise, every need Lord God, that every person came this morning with uh, every burden. Father God, I pray right now that you meet every need. Lord God, take every burden. Lord God, I pray right now. In Jesus' name, Father God, I pray. Lord God, heal that relationship. Heal that marriage. Restore that family, Father God. Every person here that is wounded or brokenness, hurt on the inside. Father God, I pray that is crying and weeping on the inside. I pray right now, Father God, that you wipe away every tear. Lord God, heal every wound. Father God, restore every broken heart here. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, let peace come, let comfort come. Lord God, let the joy of the Lord rise up. Lord God, in our church, in our family, in our marriage, Lord God, in our community here, Father God, let the manifestation of the presence of God, Father God, touch, Father God, the surrounding homes and family and the community here in Navasai. Thank you, Father God, and Naren. We thank you, God, for what you're doing in us, for what you're doing through us. We thank you, Father God, for deepening our roots in you. Father God, we give you praise and we give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people say, Amen. amen and amen and I invite Pastor Tish hallelujah to come up say a few words to us thank you Pastor John Bosch for the wonderful message uh, that is uh, encouraging in our